Good evening guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. We are going to keep creating in uh, the journal tonight. So uh, let's turn the camera on and uh, see what we can accomplish tonight. This is uh, some papers that I did uh, yesterday. Eco dyeing. And uh, I was asked to show them. I think it's a lot of uh, color when uh, the leaves are uh, new in the spring. So it gives a lot of color this time of year. And as I'm not so fond of yellow, I put in a little uh, blue color to tone it down. And then it <clears throat> it gets a bit more green instead and uh, I like that better but it's uh, nice and clear didn't have so much to choose from but it uh, exploded uh, this weekend so uh, it turned green quickly and now it's raining so probably this weekend will be maybe even some flour to use these are the papers on top they are a bit lighter in the color that isn't so blue but we can still use them for something and this was the one that was uh, in the bottom and I did some uh, textile too and the same with these I put in a little bit of blue color to tone it down this one almost looked like a rose This uh, was the piece that I put uh, in first to kind of uh, not burn the papers and <laughs> look at these almost like small snow stars in the edge so that will be usable and this one also love the colors with the brown and the turquoise and this was the one I had on top so this hasn't any pattern but the blue color is still here so we can use it so um, the last time we uh, met I uh, had did dud <laughs> did dud <laughs> I have done this uh, cover and uh, yesterday I decided that it needed another flip. So I have hand sewn on another uh, book cover and I put on paper from another eco dyeing that is uh, thin like a tissue paper and uh, then it had a bit less coloring so I took my watercolor and painted in the leaves it had the patterns but not the color so it was a bit boring with the brown pattern so I just took my watercolors and painted the leaves blue and then I added one of the pieces we did earlier and some embroidery on that one so I sewed on the edge and then I sewed it in place, put on a piece of the textile on top of the book cover and then just sewed it right through the cover like this. So we have the sewing on the inside but it's a white thread so you don't think so much about it. So. Um, 
then I have taken another piece of of the same but a smaller smaller one a baby flower so that will go on uh, this flip Take away the boring white. Maybe we can do something like that. And maybe some nice cheesecloth. It can be a bit. special to have on that front cover. Then I had this uh, really, really thin lace. So maybe we should put that here instead, somewhere. It's rounded because it has been on a color, color, color around the neck, color. So maybe something like this instead, so it's not so heavy. Am I in frame? Sorry. So maybe and that one, and then. Paper and the flower. Is that okay? Do you think? I don't want to cover these leaves, they are so beautiful, but I still want to have something more, not just the flower. Let's go for that. I think I want it to kind of peek out top of the page, most like a lace, not so neat. of glue as it's uh, on top of a cheesecloth that will soak everything up So then a piece of this really delicate lace. I'm not sure how this is made, but looks like it's um, kind of hand woven. 
we have something that is called knyppelina in Sweden, where you have uh, pieces of wood that you have strings on them and then you kind of put threads together with it in a way that uh, make it look like thin laces. So it's probably something like that, but I don't have the English name for it. So I think I will kind of put it straight and as it's for something that is a bit rounded, you will have this little wavy, wavy shape. when it's when it's drying later on a bit afraid I will lose the cap for the glue it's so small so I need to know where I have it okay and then we need this one that will go maybe like that peeks out a little bit and not totally straight can follow that corner so we still can see these leaves down here there we go like this and then another flower
yes I'm satisfied with that and then I think we need to decorate it with a little bit of gold and I'm not sure if I should it's a bit difficult to embroider so I think I will just put a little bit of glue on the edge of the page so it kind of peaks through a little bit nothing much but um, still you can see it and it's that little bit of extra decoration that sometimes is needed concentrating so I don't talk so much <laughs> a bit concentrated That feels right, I think. Okay, I'm going to stop there. So I will put these aside to dry a little bit so we don't move the gold around and then we probably is going to add a little bit of a kind of um, focal point maybe we will um, figure that out later I think okay So let's see, this one uh, should go on that first page, I just took it off so I could sew it properly, properly, so this one needs some stitching, and that one, and probably that one. So let's give them something, maybe some stitching or maybe a button or a pearl. So let's just do some. 
seed stitching. Or maybe some French knots. We can choose. But we need to do something more. Okay, we have one more to um, do something with and um, I'm not sure, but I think that we are going to just do something small on this one. Of white thread. Okay, I will just put this away and then we are going to continue with um, the pages. The gold is uh, dry and uh, I think I really like this turned out nice so let's decorate a couple of pages for this one I think we was there I have taken this old stencil really old and really nice we have used this so much this is uh, since i made furniture or renovated furniture and this was one of my favorite stencils to use and still is so i'm thinking uh, that this uh, pattern on the paper is something i want to try to use a piece of glue So much just so I will follow a few of these lines then I'm going to take a piece of scrap paper or glue book paper smudge that up a little bit and I'm going in with some gold paper golden foil
one maybe. I'm just uh, smudging the gold, no, the glue out, so it's a bit wider than the string I put on. Now I think everything has been covered. So this way we have a nice little decoration but not too much and we can still write and do something fun on the page. And a little bit of antique book page on the back of that, behind that. Just a piece of old paper as a little background and then take this blue embossed paper layering on top of that. little quick distressing on that one then leaving this so it can be a little Not so neat. Okay, so let's work on this one. I have this antique uh, Indian stamps with a nice pattern that I kind of like. So I have taken some acrylic paint. So I'm going to just put that on. Oh, nice anyway so I'm going to move the camera a bit again <laughs> see that's better that was more what we were looking for let's do some collaging Maybe if the glue will get out.
don't be afraid to cover your things when you do collage in the beginning i was uh, kind of i can't cover what i have put down but uh, in the end you realize that you actually will notice that it's uh, something under the things you put down so you still have this feeling that it's layered and that's never wrong you can still see that it's blue you can still see that we have part of this is uh, brown and that's something that you get deep in your page it's not looking so flat and boring give the page kind of life and uh, you get curious and thinking what's uh, under there and uh, how did it look before that was put down and I don't know why but it's kind of a feeling that something is happening on the page so if you look at this and you just put down one thing okay it's beautiful but not so fun but uh, then when you layer things on top of each other suddenly something is happening and you get this feeling of movement that's too much And when you put down your collage, you can, uh, if you want to, make sure that every layer is uh, still seen. I like that, so I can see that it's blue and it's a paper, it's uh, brown. We have uh, some color and we have a pattern. That way it's interesting and you don't need to cover up everything just uh, cover up part of it and uh, make it feel like a decoration
So then let's put down the textile. So the textile is glued down and dry. And now we are going to just do some stitching on the back of it through the paper. So mostly for decoration. So the next step will be to be able to use this as writing space and still see the beautiful pattern. I'm going to use a tracing paper and put it like this. And uh, you have the possibility to write on this and still see the nice background. So we're going to put a piece of textile on this too. So we can flip it the other way. Can this one work? Yes. This is also just for fun. Just for fun, I'm going to just write something. So that way you can see that it's possible to write and it's decorative. So now this is uh, able to be used as writing space. So I'm folding my piece of textile so I can use this as a hinge. And then we are going to put it down like this and then you can open it up and see the background and still have the possibility to write. And just for fun, I think I want to do a little tab on this side. Let's take the same eco dyed. Take this one. It's already done. Don't need something big, but just for fun. For fun and for decoration. Then I'm just folding it and squeezing it down. So then I'm going to glue 
on this side of the textile and put that down so we can hinge it. And to make sure that the glue isn't going to smear off on the tracing paper, I'm going to do like this. So I put the paper under the edge like this when I squeeze it down. Like that and we had a beautiful hinge like so and we have this one going down and let's make a tab on this one too so we have kind of the same system And that works. This was not straight. I pulled the textile and you know what that means. Just told you you shouldn't do that and now I did it myself. So Do it again and do it right.
the things you don't do right the first time, you have to do twice. <laughs> That's a good way to to do things. Like that. So let's cover this up with a piece of textile so we are sure that the knots won't move. and we get the decoration at the same time. That's never wrong. Strong and nice. Like that and a nice blue decoration on that side. Maybe we should give it some color first. I want this to kind of frizzle up like that, so I'm not going to glue it down in the edge. And these uh, lines for for the glue will uh, disappear when it dries, so you won't see those. We have a few more pages uh, left to do in this one, so uh, I will for sure be back. But I think that will uh, be it for now. Have a nice evening and see you soon again. Until next time, bye bye from Sweden.